everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is our Let's Play series and today we are back with episode number 26. So if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So yeah episode 26, nothing's uh, changed in the garage. I've done a couple of other jobs just to uh, progress the game a bit. But uh, yeah, we go to orders and we've got the uh, story order just here in blue. It's going to jump up a bit as the uh, things disappear. But uh, it's the uh, Reno Piccolo. Looks like a uh, little Fiat 500. Or not far. Uh, which one? Looks like a little Fiat anyway. Not the 500, I can't think of the car for a minute there, but there we go. It's an i4 DOHC engine and of course we need to fix everything to 100%. Uh, the job description says my students are coming uh, my students are complaining that the clutch is very heavy. Another issue is that we had a little incident recently that ended that ended in a close encounter with a curb at a fairly high rate of speed. After that uh, after the incident, I've noticed something dripping from under the car. I'd like you to go over the car and fix whatever you find so my young drivers are not afraid of getting behind the wheel of this car, is the job description. So basically it's an instructor's car. They've had a little incident and uh, he needs us to check it over. So, yeah, they're missing a front bumper. So more than a little incident, they're missing a wing as well. Blimey. Surprise there ain't windows missing as well, but there we go. So yeah, we've got a few problems with this. Let's uh, move the car. We're going to put it onto the test path. We can't start the engine, okay. So we'll move the car to lift A. Can't start the engine, yet yeah, it's a driving instructor's car. I think they've had more than a little incident then. Same. So, yeah, let's have a little look. Yeah, you can see the car's uh, been suffering. Let's examine tools. OBD scanner. See what that's got. It's, uh, basically plugs into the computer where the computer's reported problems with the car. Uh, so yeah, we've got spark plug, ignition coil, spark plug, ignition coil. ABS modules down at 38% as well, so that may need looking at. Examine tools, compression test. It tells us anything like piston rings or the uh, engine block, etc. Yeah, that's all at 77%, so that seems the magic number. 77%. Kind of gives away what else needs doing then. So we need a starter motor, pop radio fan housing, I should think. Uh, do the tire treads, I think they should all be fine, although it'll give us a, an idea. Mm, yeah, it looks like it needs four new tires as well. No wonder. Uh, the young drivers don't feel safe in this one. Fuel filter there. So yeah, we've got a few problems with this one. As you can see the ignition coils definitely need doing, so let's start by removing those. It said spark plugs as well, so we can get those out. Before we get too carried away, what we do want to do is get the car up. See, get around there. Get the car right up. We're going to drain the oil out. Move equipment to lift it A. And then we're going to use the equipment. Looks relatively clean coming out of there. Move equipment and place it back. Get the 
car back down because we're working in the engine at the moment. So yeah, let's uh, see what we got. The brake servo doesn't look very clever either. The uh, throttle body there. Intake manifold. Yeah, I don't look very good either. That fuel rail off. Fuel filter. Yeah, it looks like we've got some good bits here that are going to need doing. Got a belt tensioner here. It's going to need doing. chain from previous notes. So let's whip that off. No, let's get the timing chain off. Yeah, 9% that definitely need to do. And we also need that cam gear doing. So that's that. All oh, looks okay. Uh, we said about the radiator fan housing. Way. That's underneath the car. Uh, the star motor. Let me take that off the up here. Get the ABS module off. That looks knackered. ABS pump. Yeah, all knackered. So looking underneath, we're gonna have to take the wheels off to get the uh, front drive shaft out and the gearbox out. So that's all going to have to be off there. But uh, it looks like it up in the top anyway. Unless we've got anything serious in there. Let's whip off the head cover, we'll have a quick look. Nothing worse than taking all the apart and then Realising you've got something wrong inside. It all looks okay in there. Usual wear and tear, etc. But that all looks good. So yeah, right click car status. Got uh, a few bits discovered there. Got the body, you've got to change the oil. Well, yeah, it's quite a few bits and pieces showing us wrong with this car. We'll get it up then and we can yeah, get those wheels off. We need some new wheels as well. Brakes look like they're knackered. and the sway bars. I'm not sure if uh, that shock absorber is going to be a problem. We'll take it off. Let's have a look. What we're going to do is go to inventory. Let's have a quick look at the part that we just pulled in, which I believe is this one. No, we don't want to... It's overall 40%, so I bet that needed doing. Let's take the uh, other side off. Let's break calipers off. Pads off. Disc off. Take out the drive shaft. Drive axle, should we call it? This is the uh, drive shaft here. That'll allow that gearbox to come off. Oh, 
clutch looks knackered as well. Clutch plate looks okay, the flywheel's knackered. Oh, we've got some bits to do here. Get that sway linkage off. Get the sway bar off. Get that shock absorber off as well, out of the way. Take off the tie rod. Take off the inner tie rod. And then that get that steering rack out. Oil pan doesn't look uh, particularly healthy either. Looks all good inside. Can't see uh, anything else wrong there at the moment. Although those bushings don't look uh, particularly healthy. Put that out, yeah, three percent. That's just the visual checking. Yeah, Nine percent. Seven percent. Five percent. Yeah, good job we took those out. It's uh, pretty much it, I think. Right, click car status. And a few other bits wrong with as well. So what we're going to do is take these front, uh, sorry, these suspension arms off. Could be the rubber bushings in there. No, that's all come out as fine. All well, looks good, so let's uh, put that back in. Put that all in at 77%, that uh, shouldn't be a problem then. one out as well and do the same thing make sure that it's not a problem yeah it's all at 77 percent so it can all go back in yeah let's go putting these in them We've got three of these that are brand new in stock so we might as well put them in now So yeah, here we go. Bushings, we'll get ourselves uh, a few of those. Doesn't really matter how many we actually pick up because we're always using them. New one of those straight in there. So yeah, let's start building the car back up. First things first, brakes. Looks like we wanted some brakes then. going to change discs, always change the pads. The calipers at 77%, 78% for the cylinder, so that should be fine. Uh, we've got uh, the suspension, yeah, so Shock absorbers themselves are fine. It's just the caps. Yeah, just the caps and the springs we're going to need. So let's uh, shock caps. Get two of those. 
Then we can do the spring as well. Get two of those. And then we can find our spring puller. Join parts. There's no parts to work with. I believe there is. I hope there is. Because we've not separated these off yet. Got. We needed to separate the old ones first. So yeah, let's join parts. there. So we've got uh, those and those at 43% but we'll leave those as is for the time being. So back to the car. Part mount, put in the shock absorbers. That's that bit done. Or that side anyway. So we need a sway bar We need these sway links. They're both at 77%, so they should be fine. That steering rack, we need one of those. We seem to be going through uh, steering racks pretty quick. Every car we've done recently has had a new steering rack. Percent, so I'm assuming they are fine. Get that uh, shock absorber in there. Put in the sway link. The inner tie rod. Like I say, they're all at 77%, so I'm assuming they are fine. That's that job done. Next up, the oil pan. It's at 28%. We need a filter and an oil pan. Get those put in. One thing that we've not done with this car that uh, perhaps we should have done was uh, tried to repair some parts. Not gone and uh, done any repairing. So the flywheel we need, so we click gearbox, get a flywheel, order one bit at a time because I know we've got various bits in stock. The clutch plate is fine, or oh, brand new one of those have gone on anyway, so let's take that off, we don't need to put that on. Go back to part mount, put on the 77% because that's what was on there. So we need a pressure plate. Probably need the bearing as well. Indeed, we do. Gearbox needs changing or repairing. Let's see if we can repair that. It's quite an expensive part. As you can see, the drive axle is going to need repairing or replacing. We might be able to repair the steering rack. I'm just trying to repair as much of this as we can. And there we go. So we've repaired some bits there, I know. But we'll carry on. Let's try the gearbox. Yeah, that got repaired. Excellent. Let's 
Save us a bit of money. Okay, you've got the uh, drive shaft. Yeah, that's repaired. Excellent. Front axle. We've got one of those repaired. That's good. on just yet. Come back this side. So front drive axle C we need. Drive axle front drive axle C. Get that there. Can be bolted in. Job done there. So on this side we've got brakes yeah, put those new discs on. Got new pads to go on. Caliper, we've got a new one of those, or a repaired one of those, either way. And the wheels are knackered as we know. So that's it for underneath the car for the time being, I believe. Where are we? There we go. I lost where we was then. So bring that back down. Should be all the front suspension sorted anyway. Look at this engine. Start putting these bits back in. Engine covers fixed and repaired. Brake servo there, that's knackered. We'll come back to that in just a moment. So the spark plugs, we need four of those looking at that. those up now, four of those, and we also need the uh, ignition coils as well, so we might as well pick four of those up, just to save the time, backs and forwards to the shop of course, so one, two, three, and four spark plugs in, Ignition coils, one, two, three, and four of those in. So that's that job done. The ABS pump is knackered as well. So go to brakes, the ABS pump is knackered. We said the brake servo was knackered. Not sure about the ABS module yet, we'll check that out in just a second. That's fine. Saved us a bit of money then. Put that brake servo in. Uh, the fuel filter needs changing. Get that in there. And then I believe. bit it to do and then we are done of course. So we need a cam gear. Go in there. Gonna need a timing chain or belt. Cover, that's fine, been repaired. The water pump, that's all good and been repaired. Got an idler roller, now I know we've got plenty of these anyway. Bought a load just to be sure. Crankshaft pulley needs doing. Serpentine belt B, that needs changing. Now the belt tensioner needed doing, the belt A needs changing, and a serpentine belt B, wherever it is. Just there. So there goes the belt B. Now, of course, wants the belt tensioner, which, like I said, we just bought one of those. 
and then built a again we've just bought one of those as well so job done okay so on the back here we've got the fuel rail that's been repaired didn't need to be but it is intake manifold that's all been repaired get all those uh, bolts done up there got that throttle body that's in and I believe yeah just the radiator that's all good and the radiator fan managed to repair all of those as well excellent so that is the engine done as far as I'm aware apart from filling it up with oil so we'll leave it at that for the time being we need to do the wheels but uh, we're going to do all four I believe I know the you've got four tyres that need doing brake issues at the back here. Yeah, all this is going to need to come off. Yeah, plenty to get done. arm off. I've got to take the suspension arm off because we've got to take the rest of this off as well. Same with this side as well. Turn the wheel off. Brakes look knackered as well, so that all needs coming off. condition. So let's see if we can repair any of that. There's the bench, there it is. It's all at 77% or higher, so we can leave all of those. Sway bar A. Put that linkage back in. Spring cap. One that's 77, one's at 78. I'm assuming that they are both fine. Now, if we want a couple of rear springs Get two of those Get that on there rear shock absorber caps yeah we're going to want two of those as well that's 
a little bit dumb. Now, I'm not sure what else we've got here. Let's get that uh, bearing in the wheel cap. Yeah, we need two of those. They're at 43%, so realistically, they need changing. The discs are at 43% as well. It's not said about changing them, though. So I'm assuming they are fine to go back on. Don't want to put the wheels on just yet. So this knuckle housing that can go back on, that's been fixed. Uh, the rear the hub that can go on. The that can go on. You've got a uh, Small rubber bushing down here, that's at 77%, so that should be fine. Got a control arm. Spring cap. The spring, which you bought a new one for. And the shock cap. What's going on? Some pieces to go back on. changing. So that's that all done. Get those discs on. We've got this new disc. New pads to go on. 77% that can go on. And that's ready for the wheel as well then. Same. Let's right click car status. We've got a brake caliper there that needs doing. And we've got a part that's not discovered there. We've got a battery that needs doing, we've got the rims that need doing, another part not discovered. Mm, so that says uh, rubber bushings to me. But let's get these wheels done. What are we doing? Over to the tyre separator. So what we're doing is just separate these off. That gives us the separa separated parts just for the information of course. So what we'll do come off that go to uh, our parts and as you can see we've got uh, the rim O2 classic 14 inch into zero and then standard tire 175 and 14 as well. So we need four of those. So what we'll do, go into the shop, click the home button, go into the rims, rim uh, classic 02. It's this one here, we want four of those. Size needs to be 14s. So I'll buy those, that's that bit done. 
Then we're going to the tyre shop. A standard tyre. Four of those. 14s. 175. By 85. There we go, four of those. So that should be that bit done. Then we go back onto the tyre changer. Join parts. Always chuck some at the end here. Brand new tyre. We need to clear some of those wheels out. We've got uh, quite a few sitting around. Take that. Balance the wheel. Join parts. Take that. Join parts once again. Take that off there. Balance another one. To do. There we go, and that is them done as well. Then, so it just leaves us on tyre balancing. And there we go, making some good progress. So, what we'll do, we'll put the wheels on, we'll fill the car up with oil. Establish what the parts are that need changing from the uh, uh, from the test path, of course. I think it's rubber bushings that are going to need changing. It says that a caliper has been changed and not re uh, not replaced. That's it. They're all done. Jolly good which one that is I don't know so put the new wheels on Get that, uh, where are we? Wrong side. Get that down. We said we want to put some oil in here. Oh, I know what parts are not discovered. This has dawned on me. It's the things like the battery needed uh, changing, I think. It did. Part mount. Yes, yeah, so we need a new battery. And then we'll click all, and I believe it's the air filter that needs changing. unmount the part rather than trying to put on another part. Yeah, definitely there, filter look. Clips are all at 77%. The cover at 77%, the filter. Yeah, that's knackered. About the base, that's fine. There's a new filter in there. Put the cover on. Clips can all go back on. Like I said, I think it's a couple of rubber bushings, what uh, the bits that we need doing. 
go car status. Yeah, still a part that's undiscovered there. And another part there, so it's got to be rubber bushings, or oh, and the star hasn't been changed or replaced anyway. Yeah, so we need a new starter as well. On, so we won't be able to start the car anyway. So we're going to move the car to the test path, which is in this little room just here. I say little room, it's a bloody huge room. Slam those brakes on, that should be cured that problem. That's the caliper front left corner then that's not been changed. I bet it's the front left corner that's not been changed. Yeah, there we go, two rubber bushings, look, I need change in somewhere. So we're going to move the car back to lift A. Get it back up once again. Click the car, go into examine mode. It should now highlight those rubber bushings somewhere. Can't see where it's. Now look, one rubber bush in there and one there, so that's those two. As for what. Oh, let's change that screen. There we go. As for that caliper, I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah, it's that front left look just up there. So there we go. And uh, not part mount, dismount, we want to do. Take that one out. Then we can go part mount, rubber bushing. Got a nice new one in there. That's that problem cured. This one just here, we want to go part unmount. Take that one out. Part mount. Put a nice new one in there. That's that job done. And then this one here. Unmount the wheel. I don't know why it said that caliper there, because I'm sure that was at 77%. It's at 78%, so that must have been a knackered one. And we've Gonna put a different one on. No, so it's seventy seven percent. Okay, so let's uh, just buy a new caliper a bit quick. Yeah, something obviously wrong with that one. Put a nice new one on there and then the problem's sorted. So that is the car done and finished, I believe. Just got the uh, bodywork to sort out. Let's go car status. Can untick that now. Yeah, so that's that all done. We've got a front bumper and a front left fender to sort out. So we'll go to the shop. Click that home button. Body shop. Uh, it's the Rico pin. It's not the Rico, what is it? Car status. It's a Reno. Reno, not Rico. A Reno pick. There we go. So it was, <coughs> excuse me, the front left fender that we wanted and a front bumper. 
which is probably going to mean that we're going to need a number plate for it as well. saying the car is done and finished. So yeah, I think that's just about finished. We've got uh, a load of rubber bushings, we have uh, wheel hub caps, we have front shock absorber caps, the front springs, the brake calipers, the brake pads, more rubber bushings, the rear sway, uh, brake discs, we've got a steering rack, we've got throttle bodies, we've got uh, radiator fan and fan housing, intake manifold, a battery, an oil pan, an oil filter, an air filter, shock absorber caps, ignition coils, spark plugs, ABS module, an ABS pump, the clutch pressure plate, the clutch release bearing, the crank pulley, the timing belt, cam gears, etc, etc, start motor, belt tensioner, and a front drive shaft. We've also replaced the front bumper and the front left fender we've changed the oil and the oil filters as well total money spent eight thousand seven hundred and seventy three pounds or dollars and total payout or total money back twenty four thousand one hundred and forty four pounds or dollars so we're going to click finish order as you can see car is incomplete because the front license plate is missing which is exactly what we just said so we're going to click uh, Name plates. Just do a simple one. There we go. Put that number plate on there, and then we can right-click uh, car status and finish order. And there we go. Job is done. So. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that one. If you did, remember to drop us a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, of course. And yeah, find us on Facebook. And all the links are, of course, in the description. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.